Thanks, Michelle. Uh, good morning, everyone. Yeah, I'm just here today to give you a snapshot of United Communities' carbon neutral program, and hopefully you can take some bits away from it today. Uh, three things I just really want to cover off on is why did we do it, how did we do it, and what's next for United Communities. So the first question, uh, why? So it actually started with our board back in 2010. They set a charter of becoming carbon neutral and they set this carbon reduction policy statement. Um, you can read it there, but the, the impetus behind this is that we find that most people who are affected uh, by uh, climate change uh, the most are those that are in least position to be able to do something about the adverse effects. So we thought it was important for us to take a lead in this space. So how did we do it? That's on our next slide. So what we did is we needed to get scored up on the topic pretty quickly. And we engaged some expertise and um, Suzanne Ridding's in the room today. Suzanne's worked with us for a number of years to help us along our journey and to reach our goals of carbon neutrality. We also set up our Carbon Reduction Committee. Uh, so that's BCN, Beyond Carbon Neutral, it's called now. It started out as Towards Carbon Neutral. We had to change the name once we got there. <laughs> um, but that committee really is the, the engine room for the program and to keep it going um, under Suzanne's stewardship. And they work with the managers across all the operations of our organisation. Uh, we have 90 plus community services. We deliver to 30,000 South Australians every year. <coughs> Um, from 65 sites across the state. And that flows right through to our representatives on the ground at our sites, getting the uh, local initiatives embedded throughout the organisation. So that's how we do it, and with that framework, that's supported by uh, both our executive and our board. So once um, we've got that framework in place, you then need to measure it. And this is really important and, and it's a, we had a bit of a tough journey, uh, had a few false starts, but uh, we've certainly got there now. Uh, but we've got a, a dedicated software solution where we're capturing all of our carbon emissions. And from that, we can determine what our carbon footprint looks like. So this shows some of our, uh, well, all of our emission categories, um, but we've got a couple of major ones. Electricity is obviously up there, uh, the various transport elements, and also waste are probably our, our top three categories where we're always focusing. And importantly, out of this software system, we get the regular reporting uh, that we need, which then helps us manage our carbon reduction. So there's probably three key um, strategic elements that we have with our program. And it, it all starts with communication <coughs> and continual education. So from the induction of our new employees, uh, their orientation sessions, we give them an overview of our carbon reduction program. And there's ongoing training sessions uh, for our existing staff. A core element is also our behaviour change campaigns. And we have a number of those. Some of them are seasonal, some of them are enduring. Uh, so a couple of examples. Oh, sorry, just back on the previous slide. A couple of examples of those um, change campaigns are our Drive Green program, our Switch Off, uh, Why Waste, uh, Why Travel, Why Print, you sort of get the message. Uh, also, we have a strategic focus on procurement. So wherever we can purchase low or no um, carbon products or carbon neutral products and services, we'll, we will do that. So not only has this program helped us achieve our environmental and social objectives, um, but it also helps with our financial sustainability. So for any of you, any of you have seen um, me present previously on this, these numbers have been updated since then because obviously the savings just keep accumulating, which is a, a great thing. And you can see across our various admission categories um, how we're tracking. I suppose some of the unexpected benefits that have come out of the program for us is, um, as mentioned, as the first South Australian organisation to be certified carbon neutral. Uh, we were fortunate enough to pick up the inaugural uh, Community and Regions uh, Climate Award back in 2016. 
and that was just after we became carbon neutral in December 2015. And also as the inaugural ambassador for Carbon Neutral Adelaide, um, we've been a finalist in some of the carbon neutral awards in 2017. And more recently, we're now the first not-for-profit to support, um, very excited, South Australia's first biodiverse carbon offset projects, because up to now we've, um, we always try and buy uh, some local offsets where we can, um, but now South Australian offsets have come online, which is fantastic. So this is a recent visit to uh, the South Australian, one of the South Australian projects. So with the carbon credits that United Communities purchase, it uh, allows us to protect over a thousand hectares of revegetated land um, and help preserve critical habitat. And this is a partnership between the South Australian Government and uh, Biodiverse Carbon Conservation. Um, the Government owns four uh, projects uh, called Conservation Reserves and there's also one privately held owned property in the Murray-Darling Basin. And the great thing is there's obviously environmental benefits for these programs, but there's also economic and social benefits for the local communities involved. So now that we're, we've been a carbon um, neutral organisation for a while, what's next for United Communities? Well, this is our uh, latest development that Michelle mentioned. Uh, so it's an exciting development called U City. It's a $100 million uh, 20 storey building in the heart of the city. It will be a tr truly, we think, a truly unique um, offering and diverse and uh, inclusive communities. So the various elements that are, will make up that um, mixed use in our building, we've got 41 retirement residents, we've got uh, 21 specialist disability accommodation units, and we've got 18 short um, stay accessible accommodation for people with disabilities as well. We've got United Communities extensive social services hub throughout the building. Uh, we have a double height auditorium for three to four hundred people. Um, so if you've got any events, uh, bookings are open. Sales hat on there. Um, we've also got commercial and retail spaces in the building as well. But most importantly, uh, we've had a focus on it being one of the greenest buildings in South Australia. <laughs> This new UC development has not only achieved the highest rating awarded by the Green Building Council of Australia, Six Star, Green Star, but has been recognised as South Australia's greenest building design ever. Six Star is one of the world leaders, so the Six Star rating has been really a significant achievement. We are proud as punch really to have this recognition as having the greenest building in Adelaide and the first outside of government to actually achieve that. This is now the highest rated design uh, that we've seen emerging in South Australia. It's expected to use 45% less energy and 30% less water than the company we building when we build. Uh, and this project demonstrates how important I think is uh, the leadership of the project from the very beginning to set very clear goals. <laughs> So United Communities, we continue to push the boundaries in reducing our carbon emissions <coughs> and our latest project is no different in New City. So we've built in energy efficiency throughout the building. Uh, there's a number of key design features. We have 55 kilowatts of solar array on the roof. Um, we have uh, natural vent cross ventilation um, through some of the living spaces throughout the building. We also have uh, double glazing and shading on the facade to reduce the heat load in the building. Uh, in the basement car park, we have a, an extensive uh, uh, bicycle in a trip facility, uh, access to a community bus, and also provision for electric car charging stations. Um, as you can see, it's, it's world class. We've got almost 85 points uh, on the building to get the six star green star uh, rating. And our next focus is to see how we can make U City South Australia's first carbon neutral building. So our overall go goal has always been to build sustainable communities and also the places where they will live, work and play. And we hope this example is there for others to follow. Thank you.